Hello everyone, welcome to my third video on qualitative analysis using NVO. Today we will discuss how to do thematic analysis using NVO. Before that, I would like to say thank you for all the support and love you have given to my previous videos. Thank you so much. Today we will see how to do thematic analysis using this beautiful software NVO. Before that, what do we understand by thematic analysis? According to Brown and Clark 2012, thematic analysis is a method of systematically identifying, organizing and offering insight into the pattern which is meaningful across the data set. This, this is the way of identifying what is common among the topics, which is the most talked topic among the text, among the literature which we have taken for the analysis. So before we start, I would like to say there are various school of thoughts and various school of experiments which has given various way to conduct this thematic analysis. And among the one I have gone through, I found this way quite easy and simple. So let's start with the steps. This is our landing page of NVO and I hope till now you all are quite familiar with this interface. So first thing first, we will import the files on which we will do analysis. So selecting all minus this questionnaire and clicking on open import. So you can import PDFs, you can import with other files, you can import SPSS file or EndNode, Zotaro, Mendeley files also, which we have discussed in very first video. Right, now, to do this thematic analysis, we need to first figure out what are the words which are most used, highly frequently used word. So all those who have seen my first video must be able to capture these words. First we'll go to explore. We'll go to word frequency. Now here we have various criteria. So we'll cut down, cut short it to top 100 words of minimum length 6 or let's suppose 5 will go to query run. So here we have the most frequent words advertising the most frequent 107 times online 78 times product 36 times information 31 times purchase 30 times so by looking across these words one can easily make out that these particular words are somewhere revolving around some advertising some online some product some information some economy consumer audiovisual market credibility internet so it is something which is related to online advertising and information. So it gives us a hint that complete that all these files are talking about something related to advertising or online advertising. Right. So what we'll do, we'll click, double click on the word advertising. It will take us to the reference points among these files where it is used. Here, here we are. File 1, Kushi, advertising, reference to advertising, reference 3, in which line it is used, advertising. So similarly, it will take to take us to file 2, file 3, and so on. So one thing we can do from here also. We can go to notes, click new node and can give name online. So this will be our first node. And as I told you in my previous video also, node are the anchor points which holds a similar type of data or text. So what we will do is we'll select this thing, we'll drag and drop to 
node one. It will create file one that it is selected to one file number this and with one reference. If I select and drag drop this, file remains same but reference increases. And now if I select this text chunk with file plucker and drag and drop to online, it will give file two and reference three. So this is how we can connect our node online with all the text chunks which are available across all the files in our input. Similarly, we can make out the second uh, frequent word is like product which is related to the information. We click on product. We'll create a node. We'll click product. So similarly, we'll do drag and drop. Quickly, we'll do this quickly so that we'll move to next step. Okay, so these nodes will help us later in connecting and getting out a theme along with the relations among them. Here on the right hand side, we can see we have grouping, which is if you are looking for a word specifically talk with the spelling P A L K, or we can look at talking up to the general ability. If I'll go with the general ability click run query I'll have results like this I'll have all the results from all the files like this advertising which may have synonym like advertise commercial promoted promotion promotion promotional similarly communication so anything which is related to advertising can be seen with this along with its synonyms in various part of files which we have given as an input and again what we can do is we can create a node again and with these meant selecting this chunk again dropping it to advertisement selecting this chunk so till now we are having something related to product something related to online something related to advertisement so it was a sec it was a second way of extracting data out of the text third we can go to explore again we can go to text search we'll go to text search back if we want to figure out a particular type of data or word out of a text what we need to do is we will type like this adverb then run there's no query with the word advertising let's click uh, let's write online let's see whether it comes up with certain results yes it says the word online is available in these files with these many references and again we can connect this text check with our node other beautiful feature is here view special we can click add and add let's see but that return back certain result yes now there is something which is online and add so we can create a new node with name online add and we can drop this to the online add so this how you can see we have four sub themes anchor point to which we are connecting to the desired data 
here we have various other special uh, characters or commands we can use it as our required so next way of finding our data is when we have written when we have already given certain command certain uh, input we'll go to word tree here we have certain some relationships like this online word text is connected to add here we have ads advertisement advertisement advertising so online like this american indicates that they trust online what advertisements advertising advertisement have on your purchase these are various promotion combination out of the files which we are having as an input and how these particular two words are connected and connecting in terms of text from here also i can go to i can move to a text i want to extract out if i want to go to this particular line america indicates that they trust online advertising is a cost efficient thing i'll click on americans it will take us american indicates that they trust online ad when they are making a purchase and america indicates that they trust online ads while make a purchase so this gives us another opportunity to create one more node trust so we can do and what we can do is drag and drop again drag and drop so now based upon these nodes we can do various permutation combination we can go to explore we can do comparison comparison based upon nodes we can compare like product or like or oh sorry we can compare online ad versus advertisement okay it will show certain results like these this is a file which has all the two components we can do various cross tabs we can do chart creation and cluster analysis hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching